Hello, welcome back to Plumbing College. Today I am going to teach you about Z dimensions, which is a way of accurately measuring low carbon steel pipe from centre to centre. Let me show you. The Z dimensions are similar to the X dimensions used in plastic and copper, which I covered in another video. But with Z dimensions, we want to get our measurements right on the first go. If we get our measurements wrong on plastic or copper, we can easily adjust within seconds. But if we get our measurements wrong on low carbon steel, it's a very, very timely process. The reason it's timely is because we have to Put the low carbon steel into a vice. Saw it with a hacksaw. Then you have to file it. And then you have to re-thread it. To re put one of these back on to re thread it. We need to use the manufacturer's technical catalogue or website to get the Z dimensions. Right, so let's look at an example. So, this pipe is 350mm centre to centre, but it's actually been, been cut. 314 mil so it's gained this much and this much that's called the z dimensions so what we do is we look at our chart here and we can see we've got three quarter elbow and the z dimension is 18 mil per side so 350 take away 18 take away 18 equals 300 and 14 mil. So if we cut our pipe 314 mil, we'll gain 18 mil that way, 18 mil that way. So our centre to centre will be 350 mil. Right, now let's have a look at another scenario using three quarter pipe with a union in the middle. So how long do we have to cut the two pieces of pipe so they are in equal length? Okay, first 500 divided by 2 equals 250 millimetres. Right, let's find the Z dimension for this union, which equals 22 millimetres. Right, so let's take off half of that. So 250 minus 11 equals 239 millimetres. Now let's work out the Z dimension for the T, which is 18 millimetres. Right, so the Z dimension is 18 millimetres for the T. Right, so what we do, just to recap, is 250 mil Take away 11 mil, which is half the Z dimension for the union. Take away 18 mil, which is the Z dimension for the T. Gives us 221 millimetres. Luckily, the elbow has the same Z dimension. So that is also going to be 221 mil per side. So we cut each pipe 221 millimetres to give us a 500 mil centre to centre. Okay, so let's have a look at another scenario so we've got a three quarter half inch three quarter malleable iron fitting and we've got a radiator valve which we need to connect to but we don't know the z dimension for this but we do know the z dimension for this because we've got the technical guide so what we do is so what we do from the centre of the pipe. We measure to the top. So it's 
186 millimeters. So that is 186 millimeters. Low carbon steel goes in, half inch pipe goes in 13 millimeters. So what we then do is 186 plus 13 millimeters equals 199 millimeters. And we then take off the Z dimension from here to here, which is 18 millimeters. So 199 minus 18 millimeters equals 181 millimeters is the pipe length. Once you get familiar with fittings and manufacturers, you can sort of more or less work out the insertion depth. So in this case, if you look at this fitting here that I've cut away, you can more or less see that the insertion depth goes to there. Don't be deceived by sockets. The pipes don't meet in the middle. There still is a Z dimension. If you look at the technical charts, we can see that, for example, for this half inch socket, there's a 10 mil Z dimension in the middle. Another way to work out the pipe size without using the Z dimension. Measure from the end of the fitting to the end of the fitting which is 155 millimetres. And we know that the pipe is inserted 13 millimetres into each fitting. So 155 plus 13 plus 13 will give us 181 millimetres. Another way to work out this pipe size. Now you know about the Z dimensions, it's your turn to get your measurements right. Well, let's see if you've been paying attention and have a go at working out my quiz. What is pipe lengths A, B, C, D and E and the total pipe length using half inch pipe? Leave your answers in the comments. Quiz two, how long was this half inch pipe cut? If end to end is 110 millimetres, leave your answer in the comments box. Right.